Late last night, Senate Democrats won unanimous approval for an extension of the Paycheck Protection Program, a popular subsidy for small businesses affected by COVID-19. It extended the program just mere hours before a deadline to apply was set to take effect. Capitol Hill correspondent Eric Rosales reports. Small businesses have until August 8th to apply for coronavirus aid under the PPP. Democrats led the push in the Republican-led Senate. It was a move that they tried again this morning on a different bill, but were unsuccessful. I ask unanimous consent the Senate proceed to the immediate consideration of calendar 112 H.R. 6, the American Dream and Promise Act. Standing in front of a photograph of Dreamer Cynthia Ramirez, Senator Dick Durbin pushed for the Senate to pass House Bill H.R. 6. It would provide path to permanent legal status for immigrants brought to this country illegally as children. I object. With an objection from Republican Ted Cruz, the Dreamer's bill did not pass, and then Senator Cruz put forth Kate's Law. It would impose mandatory minimum prison terms for people in this country illegally who have a history of certain serious crimes. The reason Kate's Law is not the law is because every time I've tried to bring it up, the Democrats have objected. And they objected again. I object. Today, Leader Schumer criticized Republicans while praising his party's successful passage of the PPP extension. It's certainly something to celebrate, but I, but I would have hoped that our two parties could have worked this out before last night as a small part of a much broader, of much broader legislation to address the many challenges posed by COVID-19. Many small businesses like Atrevida Craft Beer Company in Colorado are still depending on PPP funds. And businesses have more time to benefit from the $134 billion still left in the program. Democratic leader Chuck Schumer says that his party will continue to focus on COVID-related issues. Majority leader Mitch McConnell says that it will likely be after the July 4th recess when they focus on more COVID aid. At the Capitol, Eric Rosales, EWTN News Nightly.